Hey, how the heck are you? Jonathan here, the fit fishery matic, wine addict, because sometimes one aquarium just isn't enough. If you've been in the hobby for very long, you know what I'm talking about. It's infectious. You set that first tank up and you get it just right and you love it. And then you see something in there breeding and you're like, ooh, I can, I can get another tank and breed these things. Or you, you get to skate just right and you're like, well, I'd like to, I'd like to skate it this way. And it just never ends. It just don't. You know, next thing you know, you've got a fish room with 34 tanks in it, or however many I got now. Maybe you don't go that far with it. Maybe you get one. Maybe you get two, three, four, five, whatever it is. If you know, you know. So, what we're going to talk about today in this video is a lot of stuff that I've been working on on these 34 some odd tanks, however many tanks I have now. I need to count those again. Uh, it, and it's just, it's been a lot of stuff going on at once. I haven't necessarily filmed everything going on. I've got, you know, I've, I've done a lot of different things, uh, kind of leading up to some of the other projects that I'm wanting to get going. So I'm just going to take you guys along, uh, give you a little bit of, catch, catch you up on what's been going on in the fish room. And we'll talk about, towards the end of this video, we'll kind of talk about uh some of what those what what some of these actions what some what some of these things i've been working on is leading up to well first thing we needed to do was get this stand taken down it never really worked it, it, i built it to the wrong dimension so i put a few tanks on it that i needed somewhere to go with didn't really hold up well became a catch-all and i just wanted to redo this whole thing so i'm gonna move these tanks around and work on getting this broke down also, I needed to get the beta um, into his new home, acclimated, and into the Palio Dorm, and he's really loving that now. Loving the space and the room and all of that about seven gallon to itself. While we're moving and moving tanks, I got the Cardinal Tetris that's out of, needed to come out of quarantine and into the 120. Got them acclimated as well and let them loose and turned out really well. They, they look really neat, all schooled up in there, but they're not quite moving as much as what I thought they would. I, I don't know if they're a little bit timid of the bigger fish or what, uh, but all in all, I'm really happy with this big school of neons. Now that they're out, we can get some more Tetris acclimating for the 55 Nano that we're gonna have going. And on that same note, we're gonna jump right to the tank next door and begin removing the Harlequin Rasporas, which is just a super beautiful fish. I hadn't had the chance to keep these before, and I'm really glad I did pick them up. They're gonna go over into the 55 gallon, which is getting getting ready to get cut back. I'm gonna redo this a little bit. It's gonna be a big nano tank uh, with a bunch of smaller fish, tetras and, and such inside of here. All right, now that the 40 gallon breeder is moved, uh, we can go ahead and, well, we gotta get the 20 gallon. So we had to move the 20 gallon as well. Got everything moved and was finally able to start breaking down this stand and getting it moved out. I am gonna reuse this stand to rework and get everything in on the other side of the fish room. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna store it out of the way. After watching the Tetras for a little while on the 120, I decided it was just time. I've been wanting to get a different background for this tank, but for now I'm just gonna paint it black and it really helped these fish pop. I think uh, for the time being, I, I'm really happy and it definitely made, I feel like the neons are actually moving around in this tank a lot better than they were as well. So all in all, I'm, I'm glad I did this. I was, I've debated it for a while, um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. You like that better? I think I think it definitely lets the fish stand out better. All right, keeping with the moving fish theme, we got to get the two ten stock. So we're gonna move these silver dollars. If you remember, about four or five videos back, we picked up ten of these silver dollars from a local guy here, and they've been in quarantine. It's been plenty of time for them to show any signs of anything. I knew they was healthy when I got them, but you can never be too safe. So getting those moved in. With that, I also started a shorts series on YouTube. If you're not keeping up with that, check that out. We're gonna be, I'm gonna be posting every species of fish that I add to the 210 over the next few weeks. So definitely 
check in on those and see what we're adding. And then of course, I'll do a video for everybody and show you kind of like full effect, like full, after everything's added, what it really looks like all together. So be sure to keep up with that. Here we went to a local fish store. I was kind of just in the area. I don't get to go to this one very often, so I thought I'd just drop in and see what they had. Uh, this is just one little nook. Really like these guppies. I didn't end up getting these for the sake of, I, I really just had to get in and kind of get out of there, but uh, I may go back and pick up some of those. I'm really liking the guppies lately, so. But I did bring home a new breeding project. I have three clown plecos already. I did add a couple extras to them. And I really want to try, I've tried to breed these before. It didn't really work out, but I'm, I'm headstrong. I'm going to figure out how to make this work. Uh, hopefully I can get these guys to breed this time uh, with adding a couple extras to it. So next up, we did the background for the 120. There's a video here if you haven't seen that. I had to get some lids made up. I'm, this is a project I've been putting off, putting off, putting off. I have hardly had any lids on my 20 gallons and the water evaporates really quick, which isn't a big deal because I do my water changes regularly. But uh, just having that water evaporate so often, it, 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 I don't know, it was a headache. So now I got some more lids on. I still need to do some more, but it looks a lot better there too. My daughter joined me in the fish room one day and really wanted me to show her SpongeBob art on the 55 gallon aquarium. And there that is. And if you'll notice in the last, last clip there where I was cutting the lids, I did add a rug to the fish room just for aesthetics. And it was an old rug we had in our home. We ended up getting a new one. I just thought, you know, the size is perfect. It'll give this, you know, the, the concrete was just ugly and dingy and just gives this new, gives it a new look, gives it a new feel and just makes the room all together more relaxing, I guess. Gives it a different, a new vibe. So, well, that about does it for the updates. So, the next thing I want to talk about is why did I move this 40 gallon? <laughs> and, I didn't think this through. So I moved the 40 gallon from this side of the room, okay? That was the rack back here. I've got plans over here. I've got plans here. These plans should have been done before the 40 moved from there to here. I don't know what I was thinking. I can't explain it but it's going to be all right it's just a minor setback so i am i do have some other tanks so i originally wanted to put a 300 gallon tank here and just like do a diy build and i probably i will probably still do that at some point but i have a 75 in the in the room to the other side of this wall i have this 40 and i have one two three i have four 20 longs three of which are already up and running the other one i have something i want to put in but I need to get those, instead of being scattered out everywhere, I really need to get these in. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a new stand here, uh, or an extension to the breeder stand that's going to kind of connect these. Well, it's going to close in this room a little bit. It's going to fill in this wall here with, with the, the aquariums that I already have. They're just in different parts of the room. So that's going to give my little nook of aquariums here. I'll try to give you a look. Now you come in here. I got my couch and the two the two ten kind of creates that wall, you know. And then obviously from here the aquariums start all the way around. And it just kind of makes a big square, right? Hopefully we can ca capture that. It's a little bit backwards because I've got it on selfie mode. But anyways, hopefully hopefully you get the gist of it. So that that'll this will close this in this 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 part here in um, and allow me to get back over on the wall over there and do some some other ideas I have so my, my main goal right now is to get the room back to where it's completed 
and it's enjoyable and I can sit on the couch and have, you know, people come over or whatever. And then we just talk and enjoy it, have a cold Coors Light or whatever. And, uh, you know, just enjoy the fish room, enjoy the, the, what I've put together. And that's, that's the main goal right now. I do have a lot of stuff I want to do later on down the road, but right now my main goal is to get it in shape. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a lot all at once, and I've got a lot of other stuff that's that I'm working on, other videos coming out soon. Uh, that'll, that'll explain more about what's going on here, on over there, and you're not going to see it, though. That was a stink bug. Ah! I hate stink bugs. Ah! Man! Ugh. I could have ate that. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, that's a first. That's a first. All right. Hmm. All right. Uh, the only way, though, you are going to know what's happening is if you hit that subscribe button. So hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Let me know what you want to see, if what you like, and I will do my best to entertain. Until the next one, I'll see you guys.